Hello children. Let us take a new notebook for grammar and today we are going to talk about nouns. N O U N S. What are nouns and put in today's date? What are nouns? Let's write a definition. nouns this video will also help you how to write cursive handwriting this is for the first standard and this is our introduction to grammar nouns nouns are remember to leave one finger space after each word nouns are names n a m e s names of persons p e r s o n s persons means people like this okay there are different people here names of persons comma animals what are animals we all know what are animals in our lesson about mia and mo we studied about the pets that mia and mo had yes this is sheru the dog it was the cat so this is a dog and this is a cat they are animals names of persons animals places p l a c e s comma what are places in our lesson about mia and mo we learnt about udaipur yes they stayed in a city called udaipur so city is the name of a place and a n d and things what are things t h i n g s things things are nothing but all the different things you see around you like a book is a thing a table is a thing a chair is a thing a house is a thing these are windows these windows are things so all these are things and the the noun is the name of anything so window is the name of this thing door is the name of this thing okay and chimney is the name of this thing so what are nouns nouns are names of persons animals places and things so <clears throat> we will just learn about two different kinds of nouns first we will learn about a proper noun p r o p e r proper n o u n noun what are proper nouns now we know that these are children these are two children two kids but do you know that these two kids have got special names we already learned in our lesson what is this little child's name this child's name is mia and her brother's name is mo so they have a special name to call themselves when we are talking about a special name of a person place animal or thing we say it is a proper noun so what is a proper noun a proper noun is a proper noun is the special name given to any 
Yes, you know this person, comma, place, comma, animal, comma, and think. <clears throat> okay, so we understood the difference. What is a common noun? A common noun is a common noun is the general g e n e r a l general name okay so the difference between proper noun and common noun i gave you so many examples let us look at some more examples yes this is a tree so a tree is a common noun but a special tree is a coconut tree, right? So, a coconut tree is a special tree and it is a proper noun. What about the children? Children are common nouns. A child is a common noun. But what about the names given to them? Like Mia and Mo, those are special names called a proper noun. What about animals? All animals are <clears throat> nouns. But when we have a special name for an animal, then we call it a proper noun. Now this is a horse. So a horse is an animal. There are many, many horses. So horse is a common noun. But if I have a horse, I would call my, how, my horse Rambo. So, Rambo is a special name that I call my horse. So, Rambo is a proper noun. Okay? Just like that, what about things? There are many things. I told you about your book. This is a book. The book is a common noun. But this book has a special name. What is this book's name? This book's name is English stencil 1. So that is a special name and so it is a proper noun. So today we are going to write an activity. We will call it Roman number 1 and the activity is underline U N D E R under like any line underline the common nouns and circle the proper nouns and one very important thing children all proper nouns or the names of people places animals and things the special names always start with a capital letter okay so let us write some sentences i am Mia. M I A. Mia. Full stop. We always start a sentence with a capital letter and end with a full stop. So we are supposed to underline the common noun and circle the proper noun. Mia is a special name given to a child. So it is a proper noun. So we circle it. Please do this writing. In pencil only. 
because we are in first standard and we are just learning to write. Let's go to the next sentence. So, Mia is a proper noun. It is the name of a special name given to a person. Next sentence. I live in Udaipur. Full stop. Udaipur is a special name given to a city. So, Udaipur is a proper noun. Okay. And I will also say, I live in Udaipur city. So, what is city? City is a common noun. So, we will underline it. Next sentence. There is a rose plant in my balcony. So Rose plant, there can be many different kinds of rose plants. So, it's a very general and a common word given to a plant. Okay. So, it is a common noun and we underline it and we put a full stop here. What about balcony? Balcony is a name of a thing. Okay. It's a name of a place. Actually, you can call it a place. Balcony is a place where you go and sit out and enjoy the cool breeze outside um, in the evenings and you also grow some plants. And balcony is also a common noun. Next one. My favorite... Book is Cinderella. Okay, so book is a common noun, and the name of my book is a proper noun Cinderella. Can you see? I have written a capital letter here. Even for Udaipur U, I have written a capital letter. A proper noun always starts with a capital letter. Mia M also starts with a capital letter. Let's go to our next sentence. My pet dog is called Sheru. Sheru. So, it is your pet dog. Dog is the name of an animal. It's a common noun. And you have given your dog a special name which is Sheru, which is a proper noun. So, we'll circle it. So, we did this activity for common noun and proper noun.